Hey everyone, it's your boy, dang it, I can't start my first video off like that. Hey guys, twitch.tv slash mazeltoff here with my very first guide, Bloodgate Hyperform, in the location of Zoldazor, Horde Territory. Let's get started. And here we go. We have quite a few topics we're going to cover for this farm, ranging from farm location to the leaching route, the gold urn, but right now we're going to start with what the viewers probably want to see, which is what type of items can you get. I've done 10 plus hours for this farm, so it's just rough averages for my single tunes when 5 boxing. Items you can get is tie spray linen, you can get deep sea satin, something I would want to make note here is if you are a tailor you can bring your tailor here if you have earned the scavenger perk you'll be able to get more raw mass for the time spray and deep satin uh you can get green boes you can scrap them for expulsions yourself or you can sell them on the trade chat to buyers in bulk ranges from 75 gold at the time of this video to 150 gold on some of the servers i am it just varies server to server what you're willing to sell them for and then what somebody's willing to pay for them uh, you'll also be able to get epic boes uh, examples listed in the video but the price range is 20k to 200k it depends on what boe you get if it's a weapon is it a socket does it roll higher item level and then on top of all that you'll be able to get raw mounds of gold wait that's not right You'll be able to get raw gold. That's what that was. Uh, you can sell the grays that you do get. You'll be getting a lot of them. Um, I was finding I was having to sell about every 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just mount up, sell out, and then I just get right back to farming. Next in the guide is farm location. The location is in Zoldazar Blood Gate. Where is Blood Gate, you may ask? You'll find this area in the Horde BFA zone of Ezeroth. Just go north on the main city to find Blood Gate. I marked it on the map, even listed the coordinates can't see the coordinates all right grandma okay grandpa let's fix that and there it is coordinates are 58 by 20.5 next up requirements what do you need to be able to do this farm these are just my personal recommendations to help increase the kill count which then will increase the gold earned first in my opinion two by four main groups multi boxers are already going to be familiar with this little trick to get eight of their accounts phased together to be able to quest level and farm two by four main groups are just better than traditional five man groups uh to help increase uh the kill counts the leashing uh kill more like i said it's gonna make you earn more second i would recommend just get a good monk one that will be able to keep the statues up uh be able to crackle to keep pulling hell even uh off healing uh to help the group if you can't get it, one decent monk dropping snatch and keeping it up 100% of the time, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. Just get two monks to drop their statues. Uh, just drop it uh, relatively close to each other. Uh, just make sure you don't get any AFK monks. They are the worst, but let's not go into that. Uh, third, uh, get at least two ranged DPS relation monks to the statues. I would recommend three to spread them out and then pretty much just pull until your fingers fall off. Uh, you can do this farm at level 110. Uh, you just won't be able to earn epic BOEs as Blizzard has decided to not allow that. Uh, do you feel like they should allow that to happen for 110s? Comment in the video below. I personally like to see this added in for selfish reasons. Imagine just being able to 5 box level while gold farming. Mm. Maybe too powerful. Next up farm route more precisely leashing in the case of this farm this will be the quickest section in this guide that i'll be covering i'll start by showing you why i wouldn't recommend going counterclockwise simply because of direct line of sight uh on some of the mobs here within this bloodgate farm as you can see the mobs behind that wall i have to click there in order to pull if i'm not in line of sight i won't be able to uh, pull that lovely troll behind instead what i would recommend is going clockwise as I'll show you here in the video now, it will provide line of sight on all the mobs. And then once you start getting a decent amount of mobs pulled, when it's time to kill, just start cutting it towards the monk statue. And then uh, just AOE with your group. Uh, some tips and tricks while pulling. You can AOE the mobs on the monk statue uh, as the mobs build up. If you feel like you have too many mobs uh, spawned, do yourself a favor. Stop pulling for a second. 
go and pay attention to DPS, AOE everything down, and then go back to pulling. And then pretty much it's just wash and repeat uh, at that. Just keep pulling till your fingers fall off. Last but not least, the one hour wrap up of how much gold I earned on average. I'll show you how much and what I earned on average from a single two and five boxing. Then I'll show you the average on all five of my accounts uh, for one hour farm time. Uh, the breakdown will be shown on the video itself. All right, first up, one character earned when multi-boxing. Now keep in mind, this is when I was five boxing, so it wouldn't be as if I'm playing a single account with that dedicated focus. However, as I am five boxing, I'll show uh, that it'll show that I have earned more than say a single account holder. And here is the breakdown: raw gold earned between 800 to 1200 gold selling grays, green BOEs between 60 to 80 greens, tight spray linen somewhere between 350 to 450, and that is without the tailoring buff for scavenger. Deep sea satin between 25 to 50, and then epic BOEs. RNG is RNG. You either get a zero a goose egg or one or two uh on average i'm getting around one to two boes an hour now for account across my five boxing accounts all right next up we're gonna go ahead and show the breakdown when multi boxing and the breakdown for raw gold earned is four thousand to six thousand gold selling grays green boes is between 300 to 400 greens tight spray linen between 1750 to 2250 and that is again without the tailoring scavenger buff deep sea satin between 125 to 200 in an hour and then epic boes on all five accounts rng is rng i can sometimes get zero sometimes get two or three that's why they call it rng Thank you so much for watching my first video. If you liked what you saw, you want to see more content like this, give that video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos covering this from the multi-box perspective, hit the subscribe button. I do stream on Twitch. If you want to catch me live, you can do so at twitch.tv slash mazeltop. Follow me there. And last but not least, I am on Twitter while I'll announce any kind of giveaways for World of Warcraft. They include gold, wild tokens, pets, and even a BFA giveaway in the near future. Social media, waste engagement will be down in the description below. Thank you so much, everyone. I do appreciate you. Keep up the goal form.